How are we doing, ladies and gentlemen? Rudalinal here, coming back at you with some more Python code. And that's right, we're looking at the zip file module. Alright, and I've backtracked a little bit. I went back to our very, very simple program, where we, all we did was just create one uh, zip archive called Shopping. Uh, and that's, okay, that's pretty easy. In the last video, we actually added some stuff to it, and, uh... I'm going to show you guys what we have in here. I just have all of these little files uh, that are text files, and they just say, I just want to buy whatever is actually in that uh, in that file. Like, I need to buy me some babies, and, uh, you know, cool stuff like that. So, <laughs> I'm going to get rid of all of those text files that I have in here, and what I want to do is I want to be able to extract them out of the zip file, because we know we've already added them in there. If I open up my file manager, you can see shopping.zip, and if I open that up, all of the stuff that we already had in the folder that we were looking at is in the zip file, because we added that in the last video. So, let's actually extract some stuff from the zip file. This is really easy, alright? So, let's check it out. You guys know that when we're opening a zip archive, we don't want to use this write uh, mode, because that's going to overwrite everything that we have in the zip file. So let's just open this up. And if I run this, okay, there are no problems. I'll look over here. Let's check out the, the zip file, make sure it's okay. And yeah, nothing has been overwritten. It's not an empty zip file. Everything is in there because we didn't actually make any changes. But we can go ahead and do some cool stuff. Let's say we want to know everything that's in the archive. Let's say, uh, let's print out zip archive.info list. And that's a function that will return a list of zip info objects. And zip info objects are special objects that come from the zip file module. And we're going to be getting into those really, really soon. In fact, that's the only reason why I showed them to you. We still have a bit more to learn before we jump into zip info objects, but that's a, a function that we can know, or at least keep in the back of our mind, as to how to get all of the info items. There's also another list function. Let's print out zip archive list. And if I run this, now it's going to display a list of all of the items that are inside our zip archive. So this is pretty easy. Just boom. That's that's how we get everything from the inside of the zip archive. Now, now that we know that information, let's go ahead and actually extract something from the zip archive. This should be simple. This should be very very easy. Because we already know everything that's in the name the name list, let's say um, cats.txt, let's say we want to extract some cats, let's get them out of the danger zone, we don't want those cats to be bombed, <laughs> we're going to do a cat extraction, a cataraction if you please, and uh, zip archive. Alright, the object that we're going to be working with are zip archive, and let's extract. Now, we can pass in... Um, actually, the file name that we're going to be extracting out of here, or we can pass in a zip info object. For our purposes, I'm only going to be using the file name, and there are other, other arguments that allow you to determine where you actually want the um, file to be extracted to, because by default it will be your current working directory, and there's another argument that allows you to add a password that you're going to be using for encrypted files that you might have in your zip archive. But, to keep things simple and easy, we're only going to be extracting out by the file name. So, cats.txt. Let's extract some cats. Let's go ahead and print out, I extracted the cats, <laughs> and let's run this, and it says, alright, I extracted the cats. I'm going to bring my terminal lobe over here, if I look in my file, boom, there's cats, cats.txt. Now let's do something crazy, let's say, we don't want it in that directory, I want it in my home directory, dude. <laughs> I extracted the cats to the home directory. Now if I run this, boom, I extracted the cats to the home directory. Let's ls my home directory. And what do we see here? What do we see here? I want to find some cats. Where do I see them? I don't think I see them, guys. And as it turns out, that is for a very specific reason. I was not very careful with uh, actually extracting to a specific directory. All I did was give it the file name that I wanted to have. So if I actually ls in my current directory, you can see I have a file here that's just a little tilde. 
if I were to open that up, you know what it's going to say. Well, I guess it won't let me get over there. Let me try and open that up in Sublime. It's actually a folder. Oh, it extracted to a folder. Okay, okay, cool. So this is a learning experience. Let's open up cats.txt. I need to buy me some cats. If I said, uh, let's extract it to um, cats directory, what's it going to do if I run this program? I'll look over here, look in here. Cats directory. All right, that's a directory. Let's get over there. <laughs> All right, there's the cats file. Cats.txt. All right, so I'm going to get out of that, and I'm going to remove that uh, cats directory. Yeah, kill all that stuff. And let's say I do want to take it home to my cats directory. I wonder if it will interpret this Linux symbol to uh, actually go home. I'm just going to say home John, because I know that's the absolute path there. Now if I run this, hop on over to my home directory. And I can see there's a cats directory right over there. CD cats directory ls cats.txt. There it is. I need to buy me some cats. All right, cool. So that extracted that file. That's pretty simple. That's pretty easy. Now I want to show you guys another function. This one's even cooler, even easier. And it's called extract all. And you guessed it. It extracts all of the files inside the zip archive. So let's check it out. If I get back to my uh, Python zip file directory, uh, we can remove the cats, and we can remove the uh, tilde. Uh, I'm actually going to do that in my file manager because I don't want to accidentally remove the entirety of my home folder. That would really suck. All right, now if I hop on over to my text editor here, I can run this. Boom! It's displaying everything inside the name list because we told it to do that. And if I check over to my terminal here, if I hit LS, everything has been extracted. All the babies, all the people, and all the virgins, they're safe. And, alright, that's all I wanted to show you guys for this video. Just some zip archive extraction, how to do it, the function names, and uh, some cool stuff. Alright, thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this. If you are liking the series, please like the video. Maybe leave me a comment, let me know what you think. And if you're feeling generous, subscribe. I'll see you guys soon enough.